you just introduced me to this whole idea of getting paid. I like it. And now you want to do th- for Al- free. Yes, Alviva, it is time that you learn about the art of pro bono. <laughs> <laughs> for truly good reasons, you can do it for free. And I think love is the only truly good reason. Juliana just kind of sighs and thinks about all the times that she hasn't taken money for <laughs> doing things for the good of others and for the church. But no, you're right. You're right. It's love. It's all, it's just love. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, they probably have it hidden in their special hideout, probably full of other stuff you can probably sell. Probably. 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 Here's that word probably again. So is this like a vault or something? What's going on here? Like I said, they did steal it from me for a reason. It's a pretty valuable gem. I slipped some information out of a few other mooks, and, uh, well, it is in a vault. Unfortunately, it's in a vault that you can get to only through the sewer system (laughs) of this here asteroid. So who was it that stole this from you again? Like, oh, what are she- we getting ourselves into? Are we are we going to, like, are we going to make any enemies? We've been here for, like, a couple hours. You're brand new. No one knows your name. Let's go. No one will ever see us. I say in my white skin suit. <laughs> my white latex suit with my glitter he- heels. Yeah, you might want to switch into, like, a stealth version of that. I can do that. I'll be right back. And she stands up and she dashes out to go back to the ship, probably. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so we've got, like, an hour. <laughs> what, an hour? What? Oh, no. she, like, that's not her only outfit. Why would you have more than one outfit? <laughs> one shirt, you wring it out, you dry it up, and you're done. Man, you, you've you never, like, you've never worn armor for more than a couple days at a time, huh? Armor? Juliana, <laughs> uh... like, slowly brings her arm up to her shoulder plate and taps it a little with her knuckles. Tink, tink. This isn't a carapace. She looks at his blank stare and she, like, pulls up, like, a, like, one of her, one of her, like, wrist guards and starts, like, unbuckling it. Like, see, it, it, it comes off. It. He flaps his hands. Does it look like it could come off off me? And by hands, I mean horrible flipper digits. Ooh. <laughs> he looks cute until you look at his hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you know, there's no need to, there's no need to wave that about. So Cacophony reappears or meets people at the sewer somehow. So uh, <laughs> so you guys are heading down to the sewer? Well, Cacophony's headed back to the ship, but you're headed back to the sewer? Yeah. Grack makes sure to hand slip her a note with a vague map and directions. I'll get there. So, yeah. <laughs> Just don't... Li- remember. Spider Chateau. Do not go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> So Cacophony <laughs> does meet them Shut there, up. and she's wearing her... It, it's basically a black variant of the earlier, but this one is sleeveless, uh, and it oh still God. cuts down to her to her belly button. Can I can I ask that you give us the cliff notes of this I, one since I, we have I, I, I am, I am charging through it. Don't worry. I'm also okay. wearing... She's also wearing a hood. She's got, like, a little tie tied around her hip for some reason that's a bright red, and she's just wearing oh. black black shoes with a very minor two inch heel this time rather than the larger ones. Is this some kind of a Psylocke thing? And she's also got her arms bandaged with like red. And she's also got like a little black mask across her face. Yes, it's basically a Psylocke thing. But in black and red. Or like TV Electra. So there's two fantasy people a penguin in a Hawaiian shirt and Electra. (laughs) (laughs) Spelljammer! So yeah, uh, you guys meet outside the uh, entrance to the sewers. All right, I have changed into something more subtle. (laughs) Ah. Don't, no, shh, don't. (laughs) Well, I mean, I can't really speak. (laughs) Because you have one Hawaiian shirt to your name, so. I'm pretty sure my fanny pack's brighter than that. (laughs) Sash? What, what? Never mind. Yeah, it's, we gotta it's, we gotta get moving. It, it yes. highlights my if thin you, waist. If you talk about it, we'll be here <laughs> for so long. I've also somehow Just, repainted it, my it's nails. It's like it's like when a puppy chews uh-huh. up something for attention. You just want to, yeah. you just want to not give them the benefit of the attention, and then we uh-huh. and you just move I on. I just changed okay. my outfit. I'm not sure why it requires discussion. 
Uh, it doesn't because if we don't get moving, right now's the low tide. We want to. Oh, let's go. Yeah, we want to be in the low tide. I don't want to get shit on this. <laughs> How do you get tides on the on a big rock in space? How do you get a big rock in space? <laughs> You know, I've been wondering that it same just question. Is let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you head into the sewers, uh, Grack. Give me a, let's say, either an intelligence or a survival check to recall the route to the uh, to the vault that you found. Um, let's see, intelligence is is higher, so let's go with that. Okay, a thirteen. 13? Okay. Um, there's a couple of points and where you kind of get a little confused and turned around, but you manage to recall the route all the way there. Um, Cacophony, Alviva, and Giuliano, what you are, you are basically being led through a labyrinth. You cannot keep track at all of where you're going. It is left, right, left. At one point, you're like downstairs and then down more stairs and then only one up one flight of stairs, but you could have sworn you're on the same level as you were before. It's kind of a mess, but... Uh, Within a few minutes, you end up at the door to some kind of underground complex. You think maybe at one point this was an above-ground building, and now it's very definitely not, but there is, uh, there is a door, and it does not appear to be locked. Oh. I found it! <laughs> I knew it. What? I could do it. Check to make sure it's not trapped. I can't believe... We didn't just get led into a small dark corner and get shanked. Oh, why would I do that? Great question. You realize that love is the true and ultimate power, and you're here to help me fulfill it. Love conquers all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in front of this door. The thing is that I haven't met another door, so I have no i i, I have no idea if this is normal or not. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You said we're checking for traps. Checking for traps. Yeah. I'm checking checking this door for traps. Okay, roll it. This would be uh, investigation. I am great at this roll. Uh, not twenty. Does not appear to be yeah. trapped. I open the door. <laughs> okay, uh, the door opens into a fairly long hallway, almost like the inside of a bank. Really tiled floor. Uh, very nice, little barren. Um, and at the far end, you can see that the tunnel opens up into sort of a larger atrium area, and there's also like a great big vault door at the far end. Hmm. Wow, this is nice. There's There's got to be another entrance to this somewhere, right? Like, this is Well, nice. this is the back entrance, because the front entrance would not be, well, smart. <laughs> More guards, less duty water? Pretty much, yeah. All right. Oh, I I thought there'd be a few guards here. Interesting. He waddles oh, forward. I see. <laughs> Cacophony follows after. Okay, so uh, you end up in the sort of larger atrium area, and now that you're in here, you can see no furniture, no real decor, except for, like, two fancy suits of armor flanking the vault door. And that's it. Oh. Hmm. I have a feeling those are going to try and attack us. <laughs> How prescient of you. Well, I'm just saying that they are on either side of a vault door. I have a feeling that if I go and pick the lock, that those things are going to stab me in the back. No, no, no. You know what? I bet it's not even picking a lock. I bet it's like as soon as you like pass their line of sight or oh, something. Oh, that's a good point, Juliana. Ooh, anybody got like a rock or something? I bet we could. Oh, ah, let me see. Uh, I look on the ground <laughs> for rocks. How many do I have? If I have any. You can find, uh, let's say about four small pebbles. Four pebbles. All right. Uh, I pick one up and I use magic stone and throw it on the one at the left. It's a nine. Nine is not going to hit, unfortunately. Oh, no. So it just clatters next to it. It turns into a prettier rock. <laughs> yeah, so it just kind okay. of... Uh, clatters to the ground next to it uh however well, it's not an area thing, however then. when the rock it, does must... cross its line of sight you see the head turn to look at it and then turn to look at you so everybody roll initiative oh, <laughs> oh line of sight called it good job Juliana. we should have made a bet on that uh, you would have won what? oh yeah high five high five so um who's in the front and who's in the back here i'm probably right up front that's me okay yeah, since I was since I was kind of like 
talking about the suits of armor, I was probably up close with the uh, cacophony. So, and we have in the bat that puts Grack in the back and Alviva. Alviva, it rolled a 24. <laughs> so you go first. I go first. All right, hang on. I got to get the initiative tracker up. Grack threw that rock by doing a sweet overhand over Juliana's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Juliana, what'd you get? Uh, six. Cacophony, what'd you get? I got a 12. Grack, what'd you get? Uh, 14.15, if we're doing that. Yeah, that's just for tiebreakers, which you needed right. it, so. Yeah. And Elviva, 24. Okay. <laughs> Elviva is uh, very up first. Uh, it's kind of crunching here, but you could get a longbow shot off if you wanted. Um, you could also... Elviva's the only one who wasn't, like, distracted by figuring out <laughs> when the suits of armor is activated. And high-fiving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or you Alviva's could, the only one that was paying attention. Or you could squish past and try to get up close with your uh, with your swords. I I think I want to go with, with my swords. Okay. The two of them. She just shoves us aside. Yeah. Normal, right? Um, yeah. yeah uh, so let me just double check. It was half your speed to get through, which is 510. But you can still definitely get up to uh, either one of them. Do you have a preference on which one? The one on the right. The one on the right? Okay. So uh, roll your attack with advantage because the uh, suits of armor have not acted yet. And you are a fancy ranger. Six slashing. And that's the first sword. And that's a 20. That will hit. Uh, so six slashing. And then with the second sword? Oh, uh, not as good. Oh, wait. Seven slashing. But uh, 18 to hit. 18 will still hit. Just barely. Uh, seven slashing damage. Oof. So I went at these guys with both arms swinging and how much damage did i do uh in total you did 13 damage which is very respectable <laughs> okay you guys i did my job you're up <laughs> <laughs> okay up next is Grack. well since it's he's in line of sight Grack's gonna use eldritch blast so 21 um, 21 will hit <laughs> okay i am aiming for the one that is in my line of sight the one on the right Grack's eyes light up the whole Pokemon Super Saiyan. <laughs> Are you doing that like underneath like our legs? Yeah, did right. You You're, that's fast? what I was wondering. Well, how did this blast get past Juliana? He's very small. I'm very small. <laughs> I'm wait. I've got a skirt on. I'm only four feet. <laughs> Spread your legs, Juliana. But does I've got a skirt on? Juliana just like hastily like gathers up her skirts. <laughs> Uh, and that is a seven. Okay, seven damage. I feel a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking damage immunities, but nope, that's force damage. It's it's fine. It's like when you you can feel thunder about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is a heavily damaged uh, suit of armor over on the right. Uh, do you want to do anything for your bonus? I will throw another rock. Okay, roll your attack. <laughs> 27! <laughs> nice! Yeah. That definitely hits. Let's see. Double of that damage. Okay, that is a that is a hell of a hit, so describe what happens with this stone. So he he just finishes off that Eldritch Blast, uh, shakes himself of the little sparkles, picks up another rock, throws it over our two Jill, Jill and Cacophony, and it turns into a giant anvil and just... <laughs> <laughs> just Looney Tunes Whoa. on him. <laughs> Are you sure you needed our help for this? <laughs> okay. And this is this is a very heavily damaged suit of armor. It's barely holding together. Uh, <laughs> and it is now the armor's turn. The one that we just damaged? Well, it's both of them. No. Oh. <laughs> but I was uh, wondering why this other guy was just standing there watching what's happening to him. Well, it wasn't his turn yet, but it is now his turn. Uh, Jill, um, Alviva, I gotta remember all the names. Alviva, uh, the one in front of you, uh, kind of looks at you, looks at the penguin, looks at you, <laughs> appears to calculate that the uh, that the penguin is the greater threat and is going to try and move forward. However, a its speed is reduced uh, because of a class ability that uh, that Grack has. And B, uh, you get an attack of opportunity uh, as it's walking away. So roll a normal attack. Crack, who, by the way, is using both of us as meat shields. 
You want me to roll an attack? Yeah, roll an attack. You get an attack of opportunity because it's uh, leaving your attack radius. Oh. So it, it would be a and sword I can attack. choose. I've got, a, I've got my swords out, so. Yeah. And this time it's just normal? Just a normal roll, yeah. Grack is just a sweet little penguin. He needs those meat shields. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. the first, we'll go. The first one is the uh, is the one that you actually rolled. You just accidentally rolled twice, but uh, that's a fourteen. That is not going to hit, unfortunately. Oh, he got by me. He, he did get by you, but he is very slow. Uh, so we'll see how close he can get. Yeah, he can only get up to uh, in front of Jilliana and Cacophony. Kind of looks between the two of you, sees that Jilliana is the more heavily armored one, and is going to attempt to clear a path by taking a swing at Cacophony. Oh, that won't work well. <laughs> So the first hit is a 16. Miss. Okay. I just casually dance out of the way, flailing a hand upward. Brack is sweating a little bit. <laughs> yeah. The second attack is a nine. That's also not going yeah. to hit. And then that one, I just <laughs> casually duck under like I'm doing a limbo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the other suit of armor uh, is going to see that the, the closest target is Alviva and move in. And it is going to t- make its two attacks on you. Yeah. Yeah. First one is a 19 against your AC, which I believe is uh, 14. So that, wait, no, that can't be right. Yeah, it should have gone up when your dex went up. So it is 15. So that is still going to hit. Oh, wait, no, you have a breastplate. You do. I do. I have an adamantine breastplate. 14 plus maximum of two for your dex. So your AC is 16. Sorry. That is still going to hit, though. Sorry. (laughs) It just, it looked, it, it rolled a 19. Am yes. I dead? You're not dead. You only took six bludgeoning damage. Oh, so I'm but hurt. You're hurt. You're a little hurt. You have a lot of hit points. <laughs> ah! Wait, her AC is 16? I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt. How do we have the same <laughs> AC? You ah! are you are very technically wearing a breastplate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there's, there's a breastplate on under the Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> The second attack is a dirty 20, so that is going to hit as well. Uh, and you take another six bludgeoning damage. You are, like, mildly hurt, Elviva. You've got a lot of hit points. Oh. You're uh, fine. <laughs> you're, you're a little roughed up, but you're... Oh, I am so mildly hurt. <laughs> You've got, like, a skin <laughs> knee, but you're pulling, like, a World Cup-worthy performance. Oh! <laughs> red card! Red card! <laughs> Nice. And that is it for the armors. Uh, Cacophony is up next. Cacophony just kind of prances forward, getting around <laughs> behind this armor. And she's going to stab first with her rapier. Okay, advantage because you're flanking with the Jilliana. Yeah. So 23, I assume, hits. 23 will hit, yes. Uh, 10 damage. You stab through that suit of armor and whatever field is holding it together dissipates and the armor just kind of collapses to the ground. And with as- a sound like someone accidentally opening a... Uh, pottery cabinet that like had not been properly arranged so it's just clatter 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 as it all hits the ground the point of the rapier definitely comes all the way through and like right like right in front of Juliana she kind of like lurches back a little bit as as the armor collapses to the ground because I can't make my second attack on a second person because I don't have that ability I she look uh, cacophony looks over to Juliana and goes Juliana dear could you happen to blow that one up like you've done before and bardic inspiration (laughs) <laughs> hell yeah uh, I love how intensely you said that too <laughs> I imagine a lot of flourishes and pirouettes absolutely she she does do a, tr- a dramatic spin and there are like sparkles raining down from her as she says it to Juliana and Juliana you feel like you feel like a, a wave of inspiration hit you I'm imagining that looking like a friggin sailor moon it final definitely attack does. <laughs> it absolutely does uh, speaking of, it is now Jilliana's turn. Awesome. Um, then I'm going to attack the other suit of armor with a guiding bolt. Okay. And that is a 21. That'll hit. Roll damage. Oh, what the hell? Let's cast that. Let's cast that at a level two. Okay. Looks like that did. Um, if I'm reading this right, was that total 13 radiant damage? Uh, 13 plus five because you did the higher level cast. Okay, rad. Then 18 radiant damage. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Now, given the position of cacophony, in my mind, I picture this bolt just skirting her as a way of getting back for almost stabbing Juliana. <laughs> cacophony, have cacophony however, doesn't like skirt away from it. She just kind of lets it wash over her, so she looks, she glows for a moment. 
Yeah, just oh, kind yeah. of like, whiffs her hair very yeah. majestically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you took over half this thing's health away in one hit. <laughs> So this guiding um, po- this guiding bolt hits, and the thing actually takes a staggering step backwards as you burn away like parts of the armor. It's now like blackened and charred a little bit. Good job, dear. <laughs> Precisely like I recommended. Uh, Deesh. <laughs> well, thanks for the thanks for the inspiration. You're welcome. <laughs> that you didn't use. <laughs> <laughs> so you still feel inspired, technically. Yeah. So it's there for um, ten minutes. So is that your turn, Jillian, or you want to do anything else? Um, I will basically move just a little bit closer so we're all sort of Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna get right up in its face, um, so we can position to uh to flank that if someone wants to do a five foot adjust. Okay. Uh so it is Alviva's turn. Yeah, I'm just seeing here do I have any self healing? Um, not currently, no. no. No, but you can I... you can take uh, at a at higher levels you can take cure wounds as one of your spells that will heal you. Also, uh, I'll be we'll... if you five foot adjust north, you'll be able to get advantage on your attacks. Yeah, yeah if we're on here. like opposite sides of it, you'll get an advantage on it. Yes. Okay. So you now can now have advantage on your uh, sword attacks against this thing. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. Because uh, I'm really hurting. <laughs> oh, you're going like full World Cup on this, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm an Italian you... soccer player. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you appreciate how you much effort this away. is taking. <laughs> Here I go. One, two. And that's that's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, God. What? You rolled a natural 20. <laughs> What does that mean? That means you do double damage. Oh, <laughs> While you're so complaining about sword. being so you hurt, you do double damage. <laughs> so let's attack the second time. But first, let's handle the let's handle this one. So that's ten slashing damage. <laughs> Not bad for somebody hurting as much as I am. Roll again with advantage. Oh, advantage. <laughs> Just shows you how resilient we humans are. Another nat 20, oh my oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Another 26? <laughs> oh, I'm superhuman! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! She's so brave to to fight so hard through these trying times, <laughs> through this great and that. terrible she really injury. Just, she turned her pain into strength. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> yeah, that, that thing's fucking dead. I took care of it. <laughs> so Alviva, in the midst of grousing about how injured she is, just takes both swords, swings them down, and basically takes this thing's head off with a cross strike and it bounces to the ground. But then I fall to one knee, supporting myself with my two swords, breathing heavily. Take that, sucker. No. Are you bleeding anywhere? Greg is horrified. <laughs> horrified? You should be impressed. He's got well, like wide eyes and his beak is slightly open. Duh, don't mess with us humans. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Rangers. Rangers forever. <laughs> right. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to need a minute here. Oh, my God. I mean, I thought I was human. <laughs> Mind you, I'm still hurting. You're mildly injured. Are you actually, like, do you have a paper cut? What's happening here? <laughs> I, I wanted to make a fucking paper cut. <laughs> a very tiny wound. I could kiss it better, I guess. Better you than cacophony. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> the two the two suits of armor are down. Oh god, my stomach hurts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the only obstacle remaining is the vault door. <sighs> Skyna looking in awe at these giants. Like, <laughs> and you, so was, you wonder why I asked for some help? <laughs> oh, 
Is the door locked? Uh, the door is locked. <laughs> Looking it over for traps first. Okay, investigation check. <laughs> okay. Alviva, how much how much damage have you actually taken? <laughs> I don't know. She's at 32 down from 44. <laughs> then, you know what? Just, um... <laughs> Have a I'm just gonna like lean over to Alviva and be like, "Here, let me let me see the paper cut, okay?" And just kind of like gives it a little poke with the finger, and Ow! you get a healing hands. <laughs> and that's an Azamar thing, so you get four four points back, four whole hit points back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Much You're very brave. <laughs> <laughs> I got an eighteen. The door does not appear to be trapped. Uh, however, this does look like a fairly comp- complex lock. Do you know how to unlock this crack? If not, I'll try and pick it, I guess. Crack, I do believe, does have a thieves tools proficiency. Uh, do I? Yes. 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 I do have thieves tools. He can pick the lock. Cacophony leans over and pats Crack's wing. (laughs) Lamb. Don't don't worry about (laughs) it. You don't have to look at it. It's fine. (laughs) I believe you can do this better than any of us here. Have an inspiration. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so Grag, that'll be a thieves tools check with your dexterity. I got a 17. Okay, you can boost that up with uh, Cacophony's inspiration if you want. Is it a d6 still, Cacophony? It's a a plus d6, yes. Plus two. Okay, so that brings it up to a 19. That is going to do it. All right. So uh, from his fanny pack, he whips out a couple of lockpicking kits in his giant mitts. And uh, starts dexterously <laughs> just poking at the lock. You have no idea if th- he actually knows what he's doing. But eventually there's a click. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I I'm... can't believe how nimble his big o- his big fingers are. <laughs> That's what the- all the ladies say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Ah, it's in my head now! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine those sausages. <laughs> So yeah, the door's open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the uh, the door opens into a uh, to a large room. However, it is again mostly empty. There is a cabinet on the far side of the room and an ornate rug on the floor, and that's about it. Well, a cacophony steps forward and starts looking over for traps, and like just walks right up. <laughs> Are you walking onto the rug? Yes, of course. Okay, I roll initiative. <laughs> As the rug sort of comes alive and immediately wraps around Cacophony. Uh-oh. Oh, we did so good with the suits of armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm trying to come up with rug puns, but they're just not coming. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Cacophony, as this thing uh, wraps around you, Cacophony, the, uh, the rug rolled a 19 to hit. The rug rolled a 19. Okay, that hits me. Okay. So that you take 12 bludgeoning damage. Ouchies. Whoa! And you are now grappled. Okay. You are now restrained, blinded, and at risk of suffocating. I'll be okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Kakafi, well, what's your dexterity score? There is. Uh, my, my dexterity is five. Okay. And uh, your dexterity score, not your dexterity Oh, 20. Mod. Sorry. And um, Juliana, what's your dexterity score? Yeah, 12. Okay, so uh, Cacophony wins that roll off, and Elviva got a what for initiative? 19. 19. Everybody's rolling 19 except for Grack! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grack got a 10 for the listeners. <laughs> and literally everybody else got a 19. Okay, uh, Cacophony, at the start of your turn, you take uh, another 12 bludgeoning damage. Oh, I'm out. Oh god, unconscious. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the quietest she's been in a long time. Okay, uh, and it is your turn, so I need you to roll a death saving throw. Heck yeah! Oh god! Uh, that's a pass, so one, you su- pass. one okay, success. You pass, okay, one success. Okay, Elviva, it is now your turn. You just saw a rug attack Cacophony, smother her, and knock her out. <laughs> what? <laughs> well... As far as what you saw, the rug came up around her. Cacophony struggled for a moment, then suddenly went limp. Yeah. <laughs> so, how can I help her? Um, you can run up and try to <laughs> kill the rug. You can try to run up and try to pry the rug off of her. Uh, okay. 
Like that's going to have that? to be step one. We can't get to her to, to stabilize her until she, uh, that'll be a strength check to try and break her out. Ooh, that, <laughs> I'm injured. One. I remember I'm still hurt. That's true. You're still hurt. It's true. She it's didn't even get a one. bandaid. <laughs> so you can't just kind of like claw at the rug and you can't seem to quite get it off of her. Yes. Um, yeah. Chiliana. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Ethel, why? <laughs> oh, God. If I, if I attack the rug, is that going to like hurt cacophony yeah only one way to find out <laughs> oh, oh god. god okay god you just can, give me one I second say, i will say that since you can ostensibly cast healing through clothes you could also ostensibly cast healing through the rug okay so wake her up yeah yeah and i i forget how this works in 5e if i cast a healing spell does that like basically stabilize and heal yeah, it takes her up from zero, it heals her from zero, and um, makes her conscious again, and uh, erases any uh, failed or successful death saving throws. Yeah, I'm going to uh, try to send a cure wounds through the rug into cacophony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that is a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, <laughs> Cacophony, you are now that's, conscious, although still like trapped in well, a rug. Oh, it's actually Wait, higher than yeah, seven. That's, 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 that's seven plus my spellcasting modifier. So that's that's seven plus uh that's seven plus seven, right? Wisdom. Spellcasting yeah, yeah, it's your wisdom modifier. Oh right. So that that's twelve then. That's seven okay. plus five. Boom. Cacophony, you are conscious. You are still trapped in a rug, but you Ooh. can hear your friends outside trying to help you. Cacophony! <laughs> I'm awake! Okay, okay, that's good. Try not to die again. That's a favor to me. Jiliana, <laughs> uh, do you want to do anything else with your turn? Uh, I mean, I cast a spell, so I can't really do much with a bonus action, aside from just sort of fret. Okay. <laughs> Grack, you're up. <laughs> uh, okay, so Grack just witnessed this enchanted rug smother the life out of his new... <laughs> Cool meat shield friend. Um, <laughs> so I'm guessing it's it's wrapped around her quite a few times. So instead of bludgeoning it to death with a magic rock, uh, crack from his panty pack pulls out a very sharp helmet like contraption and runs forward to the side. I guess keeping away from Juliana and Alviva and attacks with Mister Stabby. <laughs> his hel- hex blade uh, it's a hex blade it's a hex uh, oh that's a that's, that's a nat one. one that's a nat one and oh, he- that's still a lot of damage though the carpet is very difficult to step <laughs> yeah. very resilient carpet. it's got a much it's got a much bigger weave than you think it would how high <laughs> is this threat count <laughs> <laughs> So that failed. Is there anything else you want to do? I mean, I can't really do anything. It's a rug. <laughs> I can slap it with my fingers. I don't know. <laughs> I, think you're, I think that's about it. That's all about all you can do. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is the rug. Oh, God. This, <gasps> this is an awful sentence to hear. Up next is the rug. <laughs> And a chill of terror runs through me. <laughs> runs through you? I'm four feet. <laughs> well, um, it can't really attack anything else while it's got cacophony wrapped up. So, uh... You got me, babe. So it's not like a spring roll situation where you just <laughs> whack it? <laughs> it's not gonna get any tighter, though, on her. Well, she's still gonna take damage at the start of her turn, but it can't It'll have to let her go to attack someone else. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's still got a, like, conscious and struggling thing in it, although it did, that did appear to get weird for a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> the rug isn't really going to do anything other, with its turn other than stay wrapped around Cacophony. Speaking of Cacophony, at the start of your turn... Well, damage. I'll be right knocked out again. You take ten damage. You're still conscious. Oh, I'm still <laughs> conscious this time. <laughs> Oofa doofa. Um, you can try to escape from the rug with a strength check. 
So see, I could do that, but my strength is shitty. Yeah. And I know with restrained, I can make an attack with disadvantage. Yes. Mostly what I want to try to do is get line of sight out of this thing. Okay. Is so this thing standing that. up or lying down on the ground? Uh, it's it's currently up and wrapped around cacophony. Stand, so it's standing up. So I'm going to cut upward with my, my rapier in the hopes that I manage to do it just so that I can hopefully get a line of sight outward. Okay. Cacophony, uh, got, can you get it? Can you tip it I over? I don't imagine 11 hits. Um, it does not. You missed it by one. This thing is not heavily armored, but okay, 11's sure. still not going to do it. <laughs> well, it's still, I'll, I'll still try it with my dagger just in case. Okay. Because if I can get a line of sight out, that means I can breathe, but it also means I can face step eventually. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's a hit. Yeah, 15 hits. <laughs> so roll your damage. Six. So Six piercing. So first I try seven, but what I can't do is I can't get my rapier up because it's holding me in kind of a weird, weird way. But I do manage to slip my hand up with my dagger and I cut sideways so that it like kind of flaps out. So I kind of have a line of sight outward. Yeah, um, you guys see this sort of rip appear in the uh, in the rug and sort of cacophony peeking out. How much danger is cacophony in? Well, she's at two I'm, hit points. I'm at two hit points she's right now. Like, very is near she death. In danger of dying. Well, you yes. do have those rings that are supposed to keep you from dying. That's what I was thinking. Maybe if she put the ring on her finger and take her back to the ship. I have it on my finger. You're all wearing them. It's it's an automatic thing. But, oh, it uh, is. Oh. Alviva, you're up. Okay, so you can, can I ask her to sort of see if she can tip herself over? <laughs> <laughs> or do I have to deal with this <clears throat> standing straight up? Uh, what's your goal here? Are you trying to break her out? Well, I've got two swords that I was just sort of slip inside and rip, 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 rip. <laughs> Like a zipper. <laughs> I will say that if you are trying to cut this thing open in a way that doesn't harm her, you can make your attacks at disadvantage, and the, you won't be at risk of hurting her if you attack this thing. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Technically, okay. since I am wrapped up in that position, am I flanking for El El Elviva's sake? So <laughs> her disadvantage oh would my be God. met up by my advantage and thus just be a regular attack? Uh, you are not, you are not. Look, she's wrapped up in the carpet. So technically there is carpet between both of them. Yeah. You, you would, you would have to be threatening this. And I would say that despite I am the fact technically that you have attacking damage, it. Yeah, she you, just stabbed it with a dagger. You have done damage. You are not, as, as since you are restrained, you are not an active threat. Damn it. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, make a short sword <laughs> attack at disadvantage, and that way you can try to cut okay. her open. All right. Cut well, I'm going open. to agilely. Is that a word? Sure. With my <laughs> now, with my athletic agility, I'm going to jump up on top of this standing carpet, <laughs> slip my sword down the side, and disadvantage. Disadvantage. Oh, we're yes. doing the disadvantage. Yes. Oh, okay. And this is to make sure that you don't hurt her. Okay. Don't get a nat one, please. My first yeah. rip ends up with a seven slashing. It is an 11, so that does not hit. But you do have a second attack. A nine. Uh, 16. That will hit. So nine slashing damage. And you have uh, ripped open a significant portion of the rug that is wrapped around Cacophony. So uh. Cacophony, if you do try to break free or if someone tries to break you out, they will have advantage. Can you yeah. breathe, Cacophony? <laughs> I can now. <laughs> yeah. After Alviva is Jiliana. Oh god. I'm not really sure what to do at this point, because like I have a I have a bludgeoning weapon, so that's not really gonna be great against like a rug. But I also don't wanna like I'm worried about hurting cacophony if I do anything to attack the carpet that's not just like cutting it open. I have a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Can I let Juliana my crowbar? <laughs> Where were you carrying a crowbar? In my in fanny, fanny pack. In the fanny pack. Greg's fanny pack. Had the crowbar it's bigger in it. on the inside, right? Yes. <laughs> I will say is. yes if you want to pass your crowbar to Juliana. Juliana, <laughs> you can try to crowbar cacophony out of this thing. I just like um, the idea of Greg like unzipping his fanny pack and then just reaches in and pulls out a crowbar that is like three times the like size Mary of his Poppins. fanny pack. Oh, yeah. It pulls out and out and out and out. <laughs> it, the crowbar is three feet tall. And I am four feet tall. So <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> Juliana here. And then pulls he pulls it out and then throws it at you. Juliana catches it, looks at it, looks at Grack, looks at the crowbar and says, Well, any port in a storm. <laughs> And uh, I'll make a uh, I'll make an attempt to uh, attack the carpet slash pride uh, cacophony out. Okay, I will say that is going to probably be a strength check with advantage. And I'll say because you do have a crowbar, you can add, let's say, your proficiency bonus to it. Yeah, fourteen then. Uh, fourteen does meet the DC, so you manage to pry this rug <laughs> off of cacophony. Yay! Cacophony, you are no longer grappled by the. Where rug. do I collapse? Do I just collapse <laughs> outside of it, or by Juliana? <laughs> By Juliana. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of roll out like a like someone being exhumed from a pod. I also, much like Alviva earlier, am on my knees now. <laughs> you are much more injured than Alviva has ever been. <laughs> it's not a contest. You kind of roll out. Juliana like her scoops you in an arm and just sort of lets you just sort of collapse beautifully on the floor. Thank you. <laughs> it's very elegant. I'm like stretched out with my hair rain- raining down behind me. Can we can we have a shojo moment where she just sparkle falls into your oh, arms yeah. and then you just Please. push her put her down gently. Yeah. She blinks her eyes open and you know how in a shojo man- manga whenever a girl's like about to cry or or looks like lost in love her eyes get like kind of all fuzzy. That's what's happening yeah. right now. <laughs> awesome. Fuzzy eyes. Uh, Juliana like while and while she's got you scooping her arm she uh I'm going to do a a healing word. Yeah, so you get seven back. <laughs> Okay. And uh, just kind of like lets you drop a little. <laughs> I land Definitely elegantly. Though. Yeah. Okay, so Chilean, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. You got to get that maximum dramatic pose in there. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Grack, it is your turn. Don't well, step on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> what have we learned? Uh, I step immediately on. No. Um, <laughs> He's four feet. He's going to waddle his way as quickly as possible away from the carpet. Now that there's no one inside, he's going to cast Witch Bolt. Uh, since you are leaving the rug's uh, attack radius, it does get oh, an attack no. of opportunity on you. Well, let's see what fate has. <laughs> All right. That is a nine. That's not going to hit. You're fine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, swipe. <laughs> All right. And then Witch Bolts. Normal roll. And 11 does not hit. Uh, 11 does not hit, no. No. All right. Well, he tried. <laughs> uh, I, since I did move, do I get to use my magic stone or no? Yeah, you did move. Uh, magic stone is a bonus action. And I believe you have two rocks left? I have two rocks left, yes. I've been okay. marking them off. Like a good player. <laughs> <laughs> like a good boy. 26. Okay. 26 Ooh, will hit oh, whole damage. Shit. Eight. Okay. All right. So Greg throws a stone in the midair. It turns into an iron skillet. And just <laughs> yes. <poof. laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Up next is the rug, who's having a very weird day. Um, <laughs> the rug's having a weird day? Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't really have eyes, but you can sort of feel it regarding all of you. Uh, seems to come to the conclusion that Alviva is the biggest threat and is going to try to grapple her. That's a 12. That's not going to hit. So you manage to dodge out of the way as this rug comes at you. Ha! It's kind of in tatters a little bit. It's kind of flapping about. Yeah. Seen better days. Okay. It missed me. Up next is Cacophony. (laughs) Uh, Cacophony is going to... Maybe not in the smartest maneuver, but who said that she was smart? Um, <laughs> not me. <laughs> dash around and hop up on top of the wardrobe, <laughs> just so she can shake it from the other side, both with her sword and her dagger. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Boom! 24 for that one. That'll hit. Cut bloomers. Six piercing damage. And then for my dagger... Nat 20, Ooh. baby! <laughs> with eight damage, you... Very, very careful. You, you very, uh, <laughs> you very acrobatically jump up onto the wardrobe. I, I, leap I off. do like a little flip and like I want sakura blossoms raining down as I do it, and then I land on the wardrobe. Uh, I 
Naruto runs to the other side, which is like eight feet away. So it's not like I need to do that, but I do it anyway. And then I turn and I just bring both weapons down. <laughs> and then I elegantly flip off. And you kill this rug. <laughs> yeah. You manage to shear it right in half. And it, the two halves flop lifeless to the floor. I kick it once extra for good measure. <laughs> okay. And uh, the rug is dead. You guys are out of combat. <laughs> ah. That was not the best thing I've really seen today. Thank you, everybody. That was an experience. This time I look over the wardrobe to make sure it's not going to try and pull me into its maw. <laughs> make, a, make an investigation check. Okay, as you touch the wardrobe... No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I gently open the door. Okay, inside uh, you can see that it contains two objects. One is a shiny but not otherwise unremarkable fist-sized rock just like a regular river rock <laughs> and next to it is a white helmet with some kind of cylindrical orange gem on the top of it uh greg gasped <gasps> my shiny <laughs> and shiny and uh with shaking flipper hands <laughs> goes in picks one of the objects up comes out, turns around, and in you in his hands you see the not so magical, just plain old rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gemstone. Ah, this precious, precious gem. <laughs> Thank you all so much of for course. helping me. Is this a, a door just like this? Cacophony eyes the helmet with a look of distrust, <laughs> and then picks it up gently by the top. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. You have a helmet now. It's like white. It's sort of like not quite metal, uh, sort of a, a sort of plasticky material almost. Uh, it's got a chin strap and the aforementioned cylindrical orange gem on the top. She offers it over to Juliana. What is it? <laughs> it looks like a helmet, dear, and you are the one who wears full armor. Most inclined to wear helmets. Uh, what would I do to figure out what this is? Like, is the, uh, an investigation? Oh, this would perception? be an arcana check, probably. Uh, 14. 14, okay. This appears to be some kind of magic helmet. Uh, if you were to spend, like, a sh the course of a short rest attuning to it, you could figure out what it does. All right. Cool, thanks. Of course. So wait, does this thing seem valuable? The helmet or the rock? The, the helmet. Eh, in as much as any magic item is. Huh. So wait, there was just like a helmet and a river rock in here? River rock? That's the it's rock that allows him to marry his true love. My true love will surely see this <laughs> and be infatuated with me. Yes. That's how love works. It is. <laughs> Sometimes. Can, um, can my arcana trick apply to the rock too? Yeah, um, do you want it to, you want to roll again or you want to have the same check? Uh, let's. Uh, just roll another arcana check. <laughs> All right. Twelve. Okay, you look at the the rock and like it's kind of kind of kind of looks like a transmutation stone. A what? It's like a it's like a it's like a it's like a rock that some wizards use that can do stuff like turn stuff into other stuff or in some cases like bring back the dead. <laughs> bring back the what? Bring back the what? The who? Hmm? It'll win his one true love, yeah, Juliana. <laughs> Tell me about this rock. This is a great find, a great find. Ah, we've worked so hard for this. We have. I can't believe we've come so far. What? What do you? So you're you're gonna give it to her? Uh, well, yes and no. <laughs> it's uh, it's just uh, first I display it, and then you know we pull up some legal documents. Uh, and and then, of course. And then what? And then what? What do you do with it? after that uh, out of out of just just, just curiosity oh lady la plume's got so many feathers in so many pots like what oh, <laughs> oh you know what kind of pots <laughs> um well she sometimes employs uh bands of skeletons um, <laughs> and my employees i do mean Resurrects them from the dead. <laughs> really? Is that 
She's so, so like a fine, powerful woman to me. She's hey, so hey, you guys... she's so environmentally friendly. You know yes. what would happen with those skeletons? Otherwise, they would be rotting in the ground. Yeah, they they would have a lovely eternal rest <laughs> instead of being shackled back into unlife. Who needs rest when you have a forty-hour work week? <laughs> <laughs> right. Forty hours work week gives you plenty of time to rest. Cacophony. Yes? Cacophony. You remember what those whalers were? Oh, they were skeletons, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, they were, weren't oh, they? You're right. That is very bad, unfortunately. But I'm sure that if you give her that rock, you can you can change her mind and make her good again. Uh, I tell us more about this beautiful woman. Uh, <laughs> she's so glorious. You will hear about her, probably. <laughs> probably. I feel like I feel like maybe maybe I should take a look at that rock a little closer. Oh no. You can stay <laughs> right there. Can I, I I would I would just love to like take Touch a take a eyes, little peek not with at your that. Hands. <laughs> take only pictures, leave only footprints. What are pictures? I was, you know, can I can I just just as a, <laughs> as we're, no. we're friends uh, now. Can can I just take a look at that? I just I would just feel really great. Hey, Cacophony, how do you, how are you and Arcana actually? <laughs> I'm pretty good actually. I would I would I would say oh, I'm pretty good at yeah. almost everything. She, you know hey, what? Hey, what do you, what hey. do your elf eyes see about I... this rock? I'd love to know. Elf, not twenty. <laughs> It's definitely a transmutation stone. And it's it's just a transmutation stone, Juliana. Just, just a transmutation stone. <laughs> just. Yeah. Just, like, just. Just just like you have your what is it? Some sort of Bible? So is, <laughs> is that a fish? <laughs> you mean are you What is Juliana's? <laughs> what is your holy symbol, Juliana? Sim- holy symbol. You know, I don't think we've ever established that. <laughs> Which is why I'm <laughs> struggling. <laughs> Let's say it's let's say it's the hammer. Actually, <laughs> can we? Can it be the hammer? It's the hammer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just you like mean, your shiny hammer there. You mean the hammer that is a tool with which I I do the work of my goddess and bring justice and righteousness to those around me. That hammer, lady. Let me tell you, Lady La Pluma. She's my goddess, and this stone will certainly help me do her bidding. Once we get that merger. Which is raising armies of the dead. Well, not always. <laughs> Do you see where There's... I might have a little bit of a problem with this? Does anyone else have a problem with this? I, I can see where you do have a problem. What I, problem I can... is there with love? <laughs> with true but, the... Love. Look, that is all, that is also what I happen to think, too. I, I can see where there's a minor problem, but love can change things. Cacophony! <laughs> Juliana, do you know that I'm looking for love everywhere I go? Yes, but are you looking to raise the dead? <laughs> I don't know, I have never... And shackle that. them to your will. That that doesn't exactly seem flashy enough for me. <laughs> I prefer sparkles, you know, to undead flesh. Oh, you are you just watching this argument unfold? <laughs> undead flesh tends to be, like, gray and, and filled with pus, which is not something I like. I like... I like roses. I like blossoms raining down. Alina, I like you're, sparkles. You're, you're bloodthirsty but reasonable. Can you back me up here? This seems like a bad idea. <laughs> uh, Greg, in, meanwhile, is kind of backing up and you kind of see a flicker from him. And uh, from, from him, you, you hear, uh, well, ladies or gents, I never really got to ask him. <laughs> Thank you so much for Hold all on. your help. Where are you going? This has been such a wild ride. (laughs) Thank you for listening to my recorded message. I've already gotten back to my ship. What? (laughs) This is uh, the minor, a minor illusion cantrip. (laughs) As Greg has also has one of them shiny, your special rings. (laughs) Something like that. And he's gone back directly to his ship. (laughs) So what have we been talking to? No, a minor an illusion. illusion. An illusion. <laughs> this recording will end shortly, but I thank you for all your hard work. I don't believe it. Sincerely, no. Senor Stabby. <laughs> that was very clever, honestly. So, who knows how to get out of the sewer? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll end there. <laughs> Rio, 
Rio, thank you so much for playing with thank us. Thank you, Rio. That Thanks, Rio. Amazing. Thank you. Thanks for playing again. Sorry Thanks. about the last yeah. time. <laughs> So this has been our special guest. Uh, our first Gem Jammer guest is Rio, who uh, you have probably seen. Uh, they did some amazing work with the, uh, the concept art for our, our images, actually. Uh, they they did all of the character designs for uh, for Jill, Alviva, and Cacophony. Thank you, by the way, for enduring my very long and very purple prosy description. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. That's gonna haunt my dreams. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, you can find me on Twitter or Tumblr at vriosart, V-R-I-O-S-A-R-T. It is not for the underage. <laughs> 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 but if you're 18 and over, go ahead and follow me. Gem Jammer is performed by Kit Walker, Annie Creighton, Mackenzie Weaver, and Vicki Sharon, and edited by Jake Mason. Our character art was concepted and illustrated by Rio, who can be found at vriosart.tumblr.com. Our cover art was illustrated by Canary Witch, who can be found at doodlesfromthebird.tumblr.com. Our opening and closing music was composed by Reckoning Storm Audio Works. You can find us on Tumblr at crookedrussiancam.tumblr.com and on Twitter at gemjamcast. If you enjoy Gem Jammer and want to support both this show and other projects, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash thegemjam. Sexy That's ninja not... costume. This isn't. A... <laughs> Did you just say sexy ninja? Costume? That's what I just googled. Yes. <laughs> oh no. I did. I did link an image, uh, a URL for all of you to peruse if you wanted to see what it looked like. Yeah, this is straight up Electra. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Toe to tip. That's an Electra. <laughs> it yep. It's under okay. sexy ninja. Okay. 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 Okay.